Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Well, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our Samsung Smart Things home motion sensor here set up and then we're gonna configure it within a security system here at home. So we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you how to automate that a little bit extra here so that it triggers as you leave the home here. So let's get going. Well, let's get right into the motion sensor here from Samsung Smart Things. So this device, this is about a $20 device here, and it's relatively small in terms of packaging. And you can see again, it's really the same kind of box that we got with our Samsung Smart Things Home. So again, you can see it, that it is Zigbee certified. And all you get in here is really the quick start guide with a motion sensor and the wall mount screws. And that's about it. So now attached to the device is a back plate and you can also pull the device out. So there's kind of three segments of the physical device. I'm gonna pull out the actual device here and you can see within it, and this comes with it, you get the little Panasonic battery and then here's the back plate coming off as well. So the back plate is something you can put into your wall there with the mounting screws. And then you just have to remove that little tag there and you can see the device instantly started flashing at me. So it was turning on as soon as I did that. So now my sensor's ready to go. It's actually activated and it's trying to connect to the Samsung hub. So let's go back into the application here and tap on add a thing. Now the application just looks for devices and you're going to see a lot go on here because I have a lot of compatible devices in my home. But there's the motion sensor right there. That's all I'm going to add right now. So I'm just going to tap save up at the top and it's just asking me to confirm the paired devices. So there you go. You can see the motion sensor sitting there now and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a smart app now. Now I'm gonna head into safety and security and there's a number of different smart apps that are already pre-created or ready to go here. So, you know, you could get a notify me when or a severe weather alert or, you know, a number of different things, but I'm just gonna tap on security at the very top here. And this, like I said, this is pre-made, that's pre-set up for you. So tap on security there. You could use every open or close and motion sensor to work through this, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and choose my motion sensor. And this is for armed away. So that's a status. And you can see that up at the top of this screen, armed and then in brackets away. So when you see that status, we're gonna be using the motion sensor to trigger. Now here's the armed home sensor. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose not to use every sensor. I'm gonna choose my motion sensor. So this is when I'm at home, but my system is armed. So you might do this at nighttime. I'm going to run through the different notifications that you can cause. So you can create a text or a push notification. Then you can also do a number of audio and visual notifications. So if we had a smart hub connected, you could actually fire out audio. And then if you have lights like your Philips Hue lights, you can use those as well. You can also turn on cameras if you have those connected as well. So for now, I'm just gonna send a push notification to my phone. Now I'm just gonna tap on done. So there you go, now you've added a smart app and we can go back to my home and in the my home section, you can now see motion sensor and security. So if you wanted to change any of the settings, you can go back into there and you can go through add different sensors and cause different things to happen if you'd like. But for now, let's just play with our sensor a little bit. So it's right behind me and I'm just waving at it and you can see that the motion sensor comes on. You can also see a battery indication and a temperature indication. So those are great. That's just off of one motion sensor. You're actually getting a lot of different sensors right there. You have three 
contained within a motion sensor. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add a room here and this is just the next kind of segment of setting up this device. You could have done this at the start as well. So I'm going to set up my kitchen and I'm going to add that motion sensor to my kitchen room. And then we're going to go back to the motion sensor and I'm going to actually show you the different settings here. So top right there, I just tapped on the gear and now I'm going to change the name to a kitchen motion sensor. Now there's one other thing on this screen that I want to talk to you about. There's a temperature offset. So for example, if you set this next to a window and your window in the winter is a little bit cooler, you can actually set a bit of an offset here for that device. Now I'm not going to do that here today, but that is a capability for you. So now back to the home screen, you can now see I have three different statuses. So I'm going to put my home into armed and then I'm at home because I am at home right now. But I'm going to wave at my motion sensor now. You can't see me doing that obviously, but here's the notifications that occur. So because I armed my system, you can see I got a push notification and a text notification here that there's an intrusion. So within my application now, I'm actually going to tap on Smart Home Monitor and we're going to go ahead and see what it brings up for me. So here you go, you get an intrusion detected alarm basically. So this is a full alert. If I wasn't at home, obviously this would be a problem for me. Now, you can see even if I disarm my system, the intrusion de detected alarm or alert does not go away. So I actually had to tap on view alert and then you have to dismiss this incident. And so now you can see your system's back to okay. And let's go into a little bit more of the automation setup here. So. You can tap on the little gear next to each one of these routines. These routines were pre-set up for me. So this is goodbye and I can set my smart home monitor to away. So as I leave or as I tap on this button as I leave, I can set my system to armed and away. Now, I can also trigger that this occurs automatically if let's say everyone leaves. So I'm gonna tap on everyone leaves here and then you're choosing which people leave. So I'm gonna choose my iPhone and if you had a spouse, you could add their phone as long as they had the Samsung app downloaded and connected to your hub. So now that goodbye routine will occur when I leave. So that's pre-set up. Now obviously when you come back, you kinda of wanna set that one up as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the little gear next to I'm back and we're gonna set that up to disarmed when we come home. So we're changing the mode to home and we wanna do that when someone arrives. So you can set which, and again, you could choose any of the people coming home to trigger this automatically. So I'm just gonna tap on done and we're all set up here. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add those two things to my favorite screen just at the front of my application. So we just tap on add here and we can go ahead and choose those two routines to add to my front screen. So from there I think you're pretty much set up. You know you can still play with the application a little bit but in general you're set up. You have more or less a security system set up a few more motion detectors or some other types of detectors that you'd like and really you have a security system set up for yourself. So just one last thing I want to give you here. We can add a widget basically to our iPhone's home screen here. So you just hit on the edit button there after you've swiped to the right and scroll down to find your Samsung smart things. It just says smart things. Go ahead hit the plus there and what you're going to find is now you have some of your routine sitting there that you can actually just trigger here. All right, well, there you go. Now, obviously you can use multiple of those motion sensors in your home. And then of course you can go ahead, you can add other devices that signify whether or not someone is at home or not. So, you know, in the future here, I'm gonna pair my wife's cell phone as well to the Samsung Smart Things app. I'm also gonna show you how to use the Samsung SmartThings arrival sensor 
to uh, use as one of those devices that will actually trigger you from going home or from being home or from uh, going to work there or, or going out for the day. So you can trigger your security system on or off based on those two sensors as well. So I'm gonna show you those things uh, in future videos here but for now thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button or that subscribe button we'll see you next time